four months I left for NEET and if you're still stuck in the loop of scoring low marks in physics I've got your back because if you're serious and by serious I really mean in a truly dedicated way you can still turn things around if you're going to follow just these few things I'm sure you can score even more than me and trust me you will Hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm Madhav Tripathi a second year MBBA student at GMC Neemach In my first attempt I scored only 90 marks in NEET physics but in my second attempt I scored more than 150 marks and today in this video I am going to share with you how I did that and you can do it too so let's begin first of all let's talk about concept or theory part physics is not a subject that you learn by memorizing it is a subject that you understand let me tell you the basics of the theory part of the physics concept samjho formulas yaad karo aur apne short notes se formula sheet bana kar taiyar rakho what do i mean by concept samjho let me tell you with an example रॉकेट ऊपर जाने वाला क्वेश्चन ग्रेविटी हमेशा नीचे लगने वाली है एंड रॉकेट ऊपर जा रहा है तो फ्रिक्शन उस पर एयर की वजह से नीचे लगेगा तो दो फोर्स होगा एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड्स हमेशा डायग्राम बनाओ जल्दी से अब दो फोर्स नीचे हो गए उस पर और फिर उसके बाद थ्रस्ट लगना है जो गैस नीचे जा रही है तो रॉकेट पर थ्रस्ट न्यूटन के थर्ड लगे वजह से ऊपर लगेगा दो फोर्स डाउनवर्ड एक फोर्स अपवर्ड बस अब तुम्हें इक्वल करके लिखना है कि थ्रस्ट इक्वल्स टू ग्रेविटी प्लस फ्रिक्शन जो भी क्वेश्चन पूछा जाएगा यू विल बी डेफिनेटली एबल टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ईजिली नाउ सेकेंड इज वट डू आई मीन बाई लर्निंग फार्मूलाज बहुत सारे फार्मूला ऐसे होंगे जो आपको एज इट इज़ याद करने पड़ेंगे बट सारे ऐसे नहीं होंगे मोस्ट ऑफ दैम विल भी कि आपको कॉन्सेप्ट समझ में आ गया तो आपको फार्मूला याद करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी जैसे वर्क एनर्जी पावर में जितने भी क्वेश्चन हैं एनर्जी वाले सब में एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन करना है किस फॉर्म में एनर्जी है एक इक्वल्स टू जैसे काइनेटिक एनर्जी है पोटेंशियल एनर्जी है दोनों को इक्वेट करना है जो भी चीज़ पूछी हुई कि बता देना है तो ये फार्मूला थोड़ी ना याद करना पड़ेगा आपको नेक्स्ट इज मेक योर ओन शॉर्ट नोट्स एंड फार्मूला शीट दो चीज़ें आपके पास जरूर प्रिपेयर्ड होनी चाहिए एटलीस्ट फिजिक्स के लिए शॉर्ट नोट्स और फार्मूला शीट एक बार पढ़ लो क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस कर लो नेक्स्ट टाइम में आप शॉर्ट नोट्स भी बना लो और फार्मूला शीट भी बना लो जब भी आपको ऐसा लग रहा है कि आप सिर्फ फार्मूला भूल रहे हो आपको कॉन्सेप्ट आता है तो फिर आप सिर्फ फार्मूला शीट उठाओ उसमें से फार्मूले देखो एंड देन यू कैन मूव टू द क्वेश्चन बट इफ़ यूर फीलिंग कि आपको कुछ भी याद नहीं है देन यूज द शॉर्ट नोट्स विच इंक्लूड द कॉन्सेप्ट इन योर ओन लैंग्वेज so you can understand the concept easily next time this is how you should think in physics concept first formula later once concepts are clear formula automatically starts making sense and while studying theory make your own short notes which will be very very beneficial for you in the later stage and make formula sheets also so that you can revise the formulas any time now let's move to the second part question practice and i'm going to talk about which questions to solve and how many questions to solve if you want to score well in physics PYQs are very 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 important. I cannot emphasize more. Very important. You should solve them at least three to four times. And now to practice questions other than PYQ, my suggestion would be that you find a source that have questions similar to the PYQs asked in NEET. It could be a coaching modules or there are many books in the market like uh, DC Pandey, GRB. There are many many books which includes questions that are very very similar to PYQs asked in NEET. And now how many questions you should solve? It's almost January now and you have around 4 months left for your NEET exam. So my suggestion would be you solve at least 75 to 80 questions in a day for physics only. Consistency matters more than doing everything in a day. Now let's talk about the third part, revision. Revision is extremely important and here I want to emphasize on active recall. Just reading your notes again and again is not revision. Revision means closing the book and asking yourself questions. If while solving the questions you feel that some part is weak, go back revise that topic and then come back to the question practice and then solve your questions for revision of any chapter just sit and practice at least 50 questions of that chapter and then you will know how much revision of that chapter you want actually and how to do revision question practice first step if you are very very poor in that revise your short notes and if you are still not getting questions done then move to the detailed lecture and in the last let's talk about how to improve your physics mock test score first of all let me tell you If you are not practicing questions before the mock test then don't expect good marks in your mock test so please 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 start solving at least 50 questions in a day then only you will be able to see improvement in your mock test score after giving mock test get to your room and analyze why did you get that question wrong see mainly teen char tarah ki problems aati hai either the concept was not very clear or you did not remember the formula or time management issue or silly mistake for silly mistakes and time management you just have to do the question practice more and more and more and now for other two problems if your concepts are not clear go back to the theory part 
and revise that concept again. And if you forget the formula, just revise the formula sheet again and again. Once you identify the exact reason for your mistakes, the solution becomes very very easy and then you will be definitely able to improve your mock test score. And if you still have more doubts, feel free to reach out to me on Telegram. I try my best to reply to all of the queries there. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Stay consistent, stay focused. All the best. Thank you.